What's up everybody, my name is Aaron and today we are going to be starting my Football Manager's Let's Play. I have picked to be Sheffield United for my Let's Play. I expect a tough challenge and my aim is to get up into the Premier League and most probably lead them to glory and maybe accept some other jobs if I get offered. So I'm going to be cutting this into parts, well I'm going to be just showing you the main highlights of things. So our start our season expectations is that we win the league. That's fairly tough to be honest and I've got zero um, transfer budget and 88k wage budget, budget so I'm pretty much screwed considering I'm already spending 118k but we'll see so I'm just going to pause till we get to our first friendly or some updates and I'll see you soon okay just the next day we are going to meet media and I thought this would be a nice thing to do um, I don't want to mislead anyone I, you could just read this I'm, I'm skimming it Okay, so yeah, that was just my press conference. Sorry about the silence whilst I was doing that. I really had nothing to say. I am honest with the fans, apparently. So yeah, we're gonna pass through some days till I believe that's our first friendly. Okay, Barlow proposes an intra-friendly squad match. So yeah, uh, okay. Sorry about that. Uh, it just it's what I do. So yeah. I'm going to select my team. I do not know Sheffield at all, so I'm just going to let Barlow decide a good team. Uh, it's, 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 it seems fairly okay. They just got relegated, so their morale is down, but we will see. Anyhow, um, I'm going to start the match, and if anything important happens, I will talk to you there. Quickly back, team talk. I am going to give them a passionate go out there and impress me. Nothing happens, so yeah, let's get to the game. 2 minutes 42 in and we score. Mandes Liang scores for us first shot, so let's go and watch his goal. Hoskins passes it and he just strikes it in the bottom left corner. Seemed to be a fairly good strategy. So yeah. Eight minutes in, we bounce back with a second goal, and this is from let's see, Loton, Loton to Mon 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 That guy, and then Hoskins goes and scores. The person that got the assist last goal, and Montgomery. Dang, my fail. Um, talking. And I think this is three. Yes, it's three. And this is uh, Nathaniel Mandas again. And, oh, he he has a yellow card, but he just whips it in the bottom right corner and gets us a 3-0 lead. Could he be getting a hat-trick? We'll see. And that's 4-0, and it's Hoskins again, I believe. Yes. Could we be getting two hat-tricks? And Matt Dill, who is uh, one of our defenders, has picked up a knock. So let's go and treat this as best as we can by putting on Marcus Williams. Confirm substitution or confirm sub, and we will see what happens. 4 0 lead at half time. I couldn't be more pleased. Passionate. I'm happy with your performance. They all look delighted. That's good. 8.7 rating. Nice. So, yeah, we'll get back to the game and we'll see. Not much happening this second half. It seems like um, our reserves are getting quite a few shots off. I I'm going to be taking this into consideration for who I well for me knowing what I need to replace. They shouldn't be getting any shots on, and they just scored. We.
we shouldn't be letting our reserve team scoring and sorry if in the background you can hear let's see if we could isolate the problem our defenders were positioned terribly and Martin just goes and whips it in the bottom right hand corner and I believe it's 4-1 game we seem to be having a little bit of discipline problems with three yellow cards it really shouldn't be like that and yeah so let's have a look at our full time ratings and it is our defenders and goalkeepers that are lacking in this first match so we are going to keep an eye on these defenders and most probably have a look at some other tactics maybe a 5-4-1 or a 3-5-2 which I have played before Mason I'm going to let Barlow take this team talk and yeah I'll see you at the next game or next major event and I shouldn't let Barlow say it because he said there's nothing to mention and they are all angry at me or at Barlow so yeah that was a bad mistake anyhow see okay apparently before I became manager we was bid on this um, Zurich Zwankic guy he's a defender I am going to put a bid on for him and we are going to see what happens so we are processing through to the next day and it was accepted but he's not interested so what more can you do bolter into Bolton reserves um, and reject that I don't want my team's morale to go down as Bolton are a fairly good team and they usually pick lower teams to get their morale up um, our defence doesn't seem to be working great so I'm going to put on David in fact no I'm going to leave it the same for the next few games just to see if it's just some chemistry issues and we are going to put our workload to high so we could get familiar with our formation and our Pacific area is going to be defensive position and as we let in that goal I, I have no problem with our attack but our defence could be lacking we'll have to find out we'll see according to the football league paper Sunderland are going to beat us they say they have enough quality but I am sure with a few tactics such as counter maybe 4-5-1 yeah these are just some changes I'm making put on David Weir uh, oh, I can't make changes because I already uh, submitted my team mm, we'll just play with counter then I'm pretty sure we can pull off a uh, draw slash win we'll find out 35 minutes through we are seen we are holding up pretty well against the championship slash premiership Premier League team um, I feel at we might need to go slightly more defensive but we are doing very well right now I wouldn't want anything better right now as we are an underrated team okay now into the half time team talk I'm going to be assertive and I have said we need more spirit and more fight out there they are going to show us what they have let's see what happens um, it seems it does seem a fairly even game until now where Sunderland pick off the win so it's obvious something isn't working right uh, H Maguire he is the lowest rated player on the field except Flynn so I am going to see what I can do Lee Williamson um, we're going to play the control strategy as we did have more possession, possession but um, you never know, let's check David Weir he is 4 star but he is aged 41 but he is a 4 star player so there's no reason why we shouldn't be playing him we just can't play him a full game because of his age his stamina is not lacking now but hopefully we can um, see Sunderland to a draw so we was meant to see a goal there but because I went into um, Thingy mode it didn't work uh, um, so Sunderland made a change Montgomery and uh, so close for Hodgson Hod I'm, I'm bad at pronouncing names okay 2-0 I'm, I'm gonna settle for a 2-0 loss um, um, I'm going to 
mix this up a bit let's see how this works this is uh, going to work one of two ways either very good or very bad we'll see this could is very very attacking we've got five defenders though so I, I don't see it being much of a problem and we will see so with these extra defenders I'm we should be able to position them correctly like we we uh, assigned in our training so they stop as many shots to go on target as they possibly can and with those extra wingers up up front it should provide support for um for us but overall we lost and it is we are lacking in our mid slash defense our best part is our attack so I am not going to be disappointed but I uh, I want I'll just put that